Hello Cancer and welcome to your health reading for August. So the current energy also for today, the 31st of July going into August as well. So the month of August. <clears throat> so what I want to tell you first is that at the end of the reading, you want to stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what body parts you govern. And let's see if it fits in with any of the... Um, with the reading right now, it doesn't have to. These are just body parts that you govern. Each zodiac sign, zodiac sign has a body part that they govern. And um, <clears throat> it's more susceptible to getting like injuries and what have you. So stay tuned for that. Let's get straight into the reading. So what I got is for you, Cancer, you're not mentally and emotionally stable. Okay, so let me show you. You're not mentally and emotionally stable. So you go back and forth between what you're thinking and how you're feeling. It's just a back and forth, like so you're juggling it. Um, so I'm not getting physical. If I do get a physical thing, it's probably your head. If I were to say one, it would be your head and maybe your eyes. Okay, let's just get that out the way, your head and your eyes. Other than that, I'm really getting for this reading that it's a mental, emotional problem here. Like, you're not stable. Um, so, you're going through some rocky times, some rough, you're going through, like, rough waters. So, you need to, in order to, so that's what I'm getting from this. Okay, in order to get through that, two things. So, you have to go into hurt mode because that's what clarified this. And it's very obvious that that's what you need to do because of what you're going through right now. Which is a theme for everybody right now. Go into hurt mode. Seek inner peace. Get wisdom. Come out stronger. Come out with more wisdom. Come out with your intuition sharpened, right? So that you can cut away from this blindfold here. Use your swords. You're not even thinking. Your soul in your head. You're not even thinking to use your swords to, like, cut your blindfold off. You know. Okay. It'll take a lot of work. I've been telling people that. See, it takes a lot of work to do this. Um, or it also could be related to work. Whatever is causing this imbalance in you with your mental, like your overthinking and your emotional. Um, you know, if it's work related or not, it's just you are in that state, so you need to get out of that state. And it takes a lot of work to get there. And like I tell everybody, it like I've been telling people uh, for the health readings, apparently everybody has to do some shadow work. Every sign has to get deep into some shadow work, except for Gemini. <laughs> Gemini already did that, you know? And I'm getting that you want to get into this king of wands energy, you know, that leadership role. You know strong leader like you know that kind of energy now i ask for the remedy when it when it comes to all of this right the remedy is to be stronger cut away the crap <laughs> the thing that whatever is getting you to think just cut it out whatever is getting you so deep in thought and um that you can't focus it's time to start sharpening your sword and cutting those things out. Um, if it's someone that's, you know, having you like this, then you cut them cut them off. <laughs> Sorry to be so harsh, but you could cut it off. But, like, you go into hurt mode, you figure out what you have to do. Only you know what's going on. But, see, can't get more clean than death. Death to this way of thinking, you know, and being. Because you're also in a state of emotional imbalance as well. So... You got to cut it away. And there's something that's getting you here. Some kind of perspective that you might be, I don't know if you have it wrong, but you, you have to change your perspective. So I, you, you, I think you do have it wrong because <laughs> you have to change it um, to get yourself to this state of just celebration. You know, um, you just got to take action. So you take action. You got the king of swords. You need to take more action in what's going on. Maybe you're just sitting on something. 
thinking and crying and going back and forth, getting angry, but you're not doing anything about it. You're not taking action. Some type of leadership role also. But this is the key here. So even though it's not in the remedy, remedy pile, this is still the key here. To go into hermit mode. Come out wiser. Come out stronger. You know? Come out and with your intuition intact so you can know what to cut out. You have to clearly cut something out. Or some things out. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you know? The Eight of Cups. You got... Walk away, it's cutting out things. Walk away from these things that are troubling you. You're not seeing the swords that can release you from this, these work, these um ropes, these ties here. Yeah, move, move forward. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you have this way of thinking that's a bit aggressive too. Like you're. Thinking so hard that it might get you super angry. And then you think so hard that it's getting you so emotional, like you're crying. And you're just going up and down, up and down, in and out, all around. <laughs> you're juggling these things. So it's time to sit with them. Sit with these things. Work them out. And come, and you'll, and in the process, you'll have death to these thoughts, okay? you work it out. Okay, and I hope this was helpful. I'm sure it was helpful because someone really is in deep thought. I know you're going through something because I can see the rocky waters here. You're, you're pushing through though, so I will give you credit for pushing through, but you got to keep going because this is not good at all. This can't feel good. This is not good. All right, so keep going. Um, keep up the good work because you're pushing through. I know you're pushing through. Keep up the good work. Just got to change your perspective, Okay. And take action. You're not taking action, I know. For whatever this may be, because it's a general read, whatever it is, take action. Okay? So now I'm going to tell you what you govern. All right, Cancers? So, Cancer, you govern the breast, the chest muscles, um, stomach, and pancreas. So, you know, a lot of digestive stuff, which makes sense for Cancers, to be very honest with you. Because I know... As a massage therapist, you know, these things, emotions, get trapped into the muscles. Um, they get in any body part, to be honest with you. But that's how, that's why you'll feel certain ailments come on because it's um, it's a emotional thing um, as well. So it makes sense because stomach, like you can't stomach certain, certain things or, you know, it makes sense that your stomach is there too. But just know that you govern these things. Uh, let's see how it goes with your reading. If it goes at all, it doesn't have to because I'm going to get the current energy anyway. So these are just things to know, like what you govern. It's, it's good to know what you govern. So let's see. Um, nothing here for the breast chest. No. Maybe your stomach might be feeling something because of what you're going through. That's what I have here. But I don't have anything that's bright because I have maybe headache or your eyes. I don't have those other things here. So maybe your stomach is acting up because of this. You know? Comment below. Let me know if that's true. But, um, yeah, I just want to let you know what you govern. So I hope this was helpful. And until next time, bye, Cancers. Added a new journal to my collection. It's called Journal Your Journey. So you may journal your spiritual journey or any journey that you may be taking. So go order yours today on Amazon. Thank you for your support. You'll love it anyway.